Mr. Zhu. Many countries are trying to abandon their dependence on the U.S. dollar, one of which is, was initiated by the Asian countries, also the BRICS. Is this method effective in uh, strengthening the economic resilience of Asian and BRICS countries? Well, I think the uh, uh, world has been very dependent on the dollar. Um, the dollar is, uh, plays multiple roles. It's a store of value, it's a unit of account, uh, it's a unit in which trade transactions occurs. Um, in each of these roles, there are uh, uh, di different uh, issues at stake. So for instance, uh, as a reserve currency, there's not really any good substitute that a lot of people would say, oh, I'd like uh, not to keep my money in dollars, uh, but they look at Europe and they say, well, the Euro has had some big problems, the Euro crisis. Uh, they don't wanna put their money in China. Uh, Japan is too small. So in fact, as a default, the dollar is going to remain as the strongest and most important reserve currency. But in terms of transactions and, and, and how you denominate transactions, uh, the fact is that uh, um, China is a much larger role in trade even than the United States. And so I think there's a natural evolution away from a lot of trade being denominated in dollars towards other currencies. And I think the efforts that are being made, for instance, at this uh, ASEAN uh, meeting to, to uh, make it facilitate that kind of uh, framework of having uh, transactions more easily done in, in other currencies is a, is a good thing. Um, I think there, there are many advantages, both in terms of transaction costs and also risk by having uh, transactions denominated in other currencies. So the ease of the transaction itself. That's right. Okay, thank you so much. And then Mr. Purbaya, do you think the Asian collaboration in financial sector could reduce the negative impact from the high interest rate trend in several developed countries for now? Well, the collaboration of Asian countries in that area is pretty weak. In the past, they have uh, this uh, Xiaomi initiative and then improve it to CMM, I don't know about that, but the implementation in, uh, is not that strong and uh, the system has not been tested so that the, 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 I can say that in this stage, uh, we cannot really uh, mitigate the impact of high interest rate in, in, in the US to the rupiah or to the, to the rupiah to the local currency. But recently, or yesterday, we just uh, launched this LCT, local currency transaction, that is bilateral swap agreement, uh, implementation of bilateral swap agreement between Indonesia and China and in Korea with Japan and also with uh, Malaysia and some uh, ASEAN countries. The amount of transaction is not that much compared to the actual trade that we are uh, conducting. It's close to $3.7 billion. It's only 1% of the overall trade, but it is a starting, it's a good start. I think next year it will be increasing further and further. I hope if we can promote it successfully, to some extent, we can reduce the impact of the fluctuation or uncertainty in the U.S. policy.